I feel like this is the most embarrassing clip of me on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Let's watch Hello this. Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, Gold, the premium channel that is free. Um, it is, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium. And today we have a bit of an update. I don't even know how long it was ago, but last year I made a video about this creepy tech bro named Ethan Kaiser who was terrorizing TikTok with his tech talk he was this is the the creepy this is the unethical and uh, dare i say illegal riz right this was the guy who was doing like he was the guy who was like basically promoting like how to stalk uh someone that you want to fuck more efficiently through technology that's the guy right Essentially, he would write programs for dating apps and use chat bots to talk to thousands of women at once and get as many Tinder matches as possible. And it's an ethical landmine because it doesn't seem like things that should be done quick. with technology. But Ethan doesn't care. No, he's rebranded himself to at social engineer. Get it? Because he's he's hacking society with his engineering skills. And I watched exactly one clip from what he's been up to lately and i knew that i had to talk about him but i don't really know much we're all in this together high school musical style you know also a bit of a shout out to my shirt it's a good shirt and it is available at jarvis.store i'm excited about this merch launch um we've got a lot of cool pieces we took some cool photos hey it's editing jarvis here in some of the other premium viewer merch that is available right now on jarvis.store i want to do a little giveaway so there's going to be two ways to enter uh, on twitter and instagram on Twitter, follow me on Twitter and retweet this tweet. There will be five winners randomly selected there. And on Instagram, follow me on Instagram and like this post. Five winners randomly selected. You can enter both. Good luck. If I can give the person credit who sent this to me, I will. But the first clip that I watched was called Revenge on Internet Trolls. Hashtag big brain. He does that a lot. He says hashtag big brain a lot because his brain is so big. And he just wants to let us know. I track every mean comment I get in an Excel spreadsheet. And I've been doing this for the last three years. Let's stop it right there. I'm going to run that back so that we can just really hear what he just said i track every mean comment i get in an excel spreadsheet and i've been doing this for the last three years don't do that <laughs> you've been tracking every mean comment in a spreadsheet for the last three years i don't believe you i don't believe that's what you did probably did was just like pull comments pull old comments off of your your videos recently for this content you know i i feel like i read the comments too much i feel like i take negative comments to heart too much but this is not healthy, Ethan. This is for your own well-being. And generally these people have no critical reason of their own. They're just offended by one of my videos and they write a mean comment like calling me ugly and then forget about who I am. But I don't forget about them. Which is a problem. You should forget about them because they're a nobody on the internet. Like you said, if they're just making fun of your looks, who cares? You're an attractive guy. Come on. Self spreadsheet and I pull out every comment that's two years or older. And certainly they're not gonna remember who I am after two years. I then filter by the ones who attacked my appearance, calling me ugly. I then screenshot their Instagram, put it in the Riz app, which will then use artificial intelligence to analyze that image and come up with the best opening message to send to them. Okay, so here's where we get into like the hand wavy nonsense. I, I kind of think he made the Riz app because he has a tendency of promoting his apps in TikToks as if they're like, like novel technology that he stumbled upon. I'm not gonna download the Riz app because I'm not trying to give Ethan my info. Riz number one AI dating assistant, Trendit LLC. Looking for a little help with your dating game? Riz has you covered. Our AI powered app uses cutting edge LLM's large language model to generate personalized responses that are sure to impress your crush. Okay and come up with the best opening message to send to them. Here you can see the AI noticed she liked Chris Brown and incorporated that information in the opening message. So this person li liked the photo of Chris Brown. The Riz app recognized that Chris Brown was there and then created some, 
some uh, AI Riz messages. <laughs> First of all, Chris Brown is a terrible example to use because he's a bad person. Actually, what am I saying? Chris Brown True. is great. My favorite album is Chris Brown Criminal Timeline. So go ahead and type that into your Google search results and you'll get the hottest tracks of the summer. But before we get into that, let's talk about today's extremely relevant sponsor, Grammarly Go. You might already know of Grammarly, but have you heard of their new product, Grammarly? Now back to this guy. Let's put ourselves in the shoes of the Rizzler, <laughs> okay? So, so we saw somebody, we're like, bam, Chris Brown. That's my favorite artist too. Or no, you don't even care about Chris Brown. You just know they like Chris Brown and you're trying to riz them up. I heard the gaming friends so much. Dude, every gaming frog needs to shut the fuck up, like, permanently. Okay? Like, there's, like, 12 of you in here. Okay? Please, stop. There is. There's, like, 12 of you, and yet you make up 900% of the commentary in, in the chat. What is going on? up so here's what you say here are your options speaking of chris brown do you think you could teach me some dance moves like he does <laughs> oh that's so bad <laughs> all right we got another one we got another one here's an icebreaker so you're a fan of chris brown huh do you think you can keep up with his dance moves why are they all about his dance moves they know one thing about chris brown these hyper personalized messages worked hyper personalized hyper personalized messages like I see a photo of Chris Brown. Chris Brown dance? Do you like Chris Brown dance? So this isn't even a dating app. You're just cold sliding into their DMs with a copy and pasted message from an AI bot. Oh my God, I love Chris Brown. Laughing emoji. First of all, you're starting the conversation with speaking of Chris Brown, which I guess you could say if it was like a dating app, but also, hold on, who in their right mind just posts a photo of Chris Brown to their Instagram? I would text that Sag. <laughs> Instagram grid. I already like just this is an alien person to me. Speaking of aliens, the real question is where are you from? Because I'm pretty sure you're not from this planet. Alien emoji. Oh my god. Dude, this is so awesome because like if there's one way to be even less skilled in the field of Riz. If you want even less Riz than you previously thought you had, because the type of person that looks for a Riz bot is like already really bad at this shit. This is the only effective way to get even worse results. I feel like I got predicted a little bit because I didn't read that message and I was talking about how she's an alien. Whoa, <laughs> dude, wait, hold on. I gotta delete the Riz app. So on one hand, this conversation is weird. On the other hand, these two people are perfect for each other and the Riz app works. The AI asked where she lived, found out the location in a spot where we could have our first date. Can we take a step back and look at the sentence? The AI asked where she lived and found a spot where we could meet up. Even if this is fake and it like probably is that's so dystopian sounding sounds like you're a fan of the big easy do i get to be your date on bourbon street wow i'm so glad the ai found that have you ever been on a dating app and you see like a clear bot profile and their like prompts are like i like to go flowers and make family and you're like this is not a real person i'll just like swipe left and go about my day i want to say we remember your raya opener Okay. And it's like any skilled hitter will tell you you're not going to bat 100%. Okay. Sometimes you swing and miss. But like, know who you're talking to. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? I like that me not really talking about this kind of stuff publicly on purpose has led to some chatters feeling very comfortable about being like, dog, you don't know how to, f like, you know, seduce women. Like, okay, bro. Okay. <laughs> Just remember, okay? That's what this sounds like. Do I get to be your date on Bourbon Street? <laughs> I feel like she's a bot too, but this is the example. This is not Riz by any definition of Riz. It's not charisma. It's not... 
I can't even think of, there's not another definition of Riz. There's, this is nothing. This is cringe. It should be called the cringe app. Now nah, we're cutting that. Okay, so the Big Easy is a nickname for New Orleans. When she says, you got lines, I'm from New Orleans, his response is, sounds like you're a fan of New Orleans. <laughs> it, I feel like I'm on customer service chat with like uh, my internet service provider trying to get to a human <laughs> where I'm like, uh, my internet doesn't work and they're like sounds like your internet doesn't work can i help and i'm like yeah could you help me fix my internet and they're like do you like chris brown <laughs> i don't usually meet strangers on the internet can i bring my friend responsible but also let's have more of a conversation before you meet up with the cold slider from uh -oh. <laughs> from god knows where Someone's getting annoyed you didn't even know what state you were in like the, do we even know that he is in new orleans is he flying in for the date he he's not because he's a computer also, a date on Bourbon Street is so awful, especially if you're like a fucking actual resident of New Orleans. Who the fuck who has like ever lived in the entire state of Louisiana? Who the fuck would ever be like, oh, man, I love going to I love going to Bourbon Street. It's literally like saying, oh, are you from New York? Well, let me take you to Times Square. Hey, baby, have you heard of the Big Apple? It's literally disgusting. It's disgusting. And I'm saying this as someone who has only visited New Orleans, which is a very interesting and, uh, dare I say, beautiful city. Um, and I can conclusively tell you that the one time where I visited it, I, it was enough for me. I was good. That's it. I never want to see it again. Not New Orleans, the, uh, the, the city or Louisiana, the state. I mean uh, Bourbon Street. You don't have to lie about New Orleans. No, New Orleans is beautiful. Bourbon Street is disgusting. New Orleans is very interesting. I've talked about Louisiana before. It's like some of the wealthiest and poorest people um, living side by side. It's, it has some of the absolute worst levels of dire poverty I've ever seen. But the architecture is really cool. And there's some culture there. New Orleans is all right, but it's no Ohio. See, that's what I mean. It's like... When you got Ohio to contend with, New Orleans is great. I like to compare New Orleans to the rest of what America has to offer. Motherfuckers like, dog, have you seen Cleveland? Okay, that shit is fire. It's mint in comparison to NOLA. And so is she, so they can meet on the web. <laughs> I don't usually meet strangers on the internet. Can I bring my friend? And then the AI responds, bet. No shot the AI response, bet, like, first of all, <laughs> but bet, let's link up. Why is it suddenly like a... <laughs> Ohio is like Illinois without Chicago. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Bro, you didn't have to do it like that. And then someone in the chat said, so Iowa, question mark? Okay, guys. It's enough. That's enough. We need to we need to limit that. I feel like that's more Indiana. Uh same difference. Going. Oh, how's it going? What are you guys doing? Shooting a video? Um, he's talking about this tech bro who's like creepy stalker guy. Aussies? No, only one. Aussie. You can't, they can't hear you. Yeah, his flight was delayed, so he has to stay here another night. I did it. I delayed his flight. It's, he's going to have another thing coming when he realizes that his flight tomorrow is also delayed. Be real weird when he's like, what's going on? My flight is delayed again. And that's because the flight wasn't delayed. My flight. I did. Wait, here, you can say that again. I you turned off the AC in my flight, didn't you? Sure did. No air con. All right, peace. Have fun. You want me to wait for dinner? Dinner. I mean, I might. 
All right, hold on. <laughs> Why is it suddenly a hip teen? Bet, let's link at the crazy corner. And the more the merrier, bring your girl too. Because the person that said, bet, let's link up at crazy corner is not the same person that said, sounds like you're a fan of the Big Easy. Do I get to be your date on Bourbon Street? Does 245 on Saturday work? <laughs> and then it's like, no cap fam. Let's link up for real, for real <laughs> at, at, the, at the crazy corner. And when they showed up for our first date, I brought- And when they showed up for our first date- Broadcast it using a security camera to thousands of my viewers. I broadcast it using a security camera to thousands of my viewers. You're an insane man. Like, I still believe a lot of this is fake, but you're a crazy person. <laughs> you're a crazy person and you should be in jail. And I don't know what law you broke, but you need to be locked up somewhere. Don't be mean to people on the internet that you don't know. Someone was mean to me online. They said I look bad. They said they don't like the cut of my jib. They said I look ugly and my hairline sucks. And so I catfished them. Okay. Like Jarvis is saying those things now. And I'd be very careful if I was him. You know what I'm saying? This guy clearly... Not a guy to mess with. And then broadcasted that? To oh, by the way, for those who are saying this has to be illegal, yeah. Everything that this guy does is like, why is that not illegal? You probably didn't watch the first video that he did that we watched on stream, but every single thing that this guy does, you're like, how is that not illegal? And how do we make it illegal so that it never happens again? to thousands of people, it just doesn't match, right? Like, it's so disproportionate. Even for bait, this is unhinged. Two, use artificial intelligence in your dating because it's better than you and I. Try the Riz app. So yeah, when he's like, try the Riz app, I'm like, okay, how are you affiliated with the Riz app? Because either you made the app or you're being paid by the app. And if you're paid by the app and you're not uh, disclosing it as an ad, then that is against the law. That's where I'm at on this. It seems like a blatant ad, right? Yeah, and then everyone, he's like lives for this, dude, where people are like, bro is a super villain. Bro's a menace. Bro's got that evil in him. This man is beyond petty, and I love it. I can't ask much of TikTok commenters. I can ask the person with power, with the platform, to do better. And uh, I tried that a year. It's also funny because, like, it's most likely not real. Like, he most likely isn't doing that, right? But then all these people are like, oh, dude, it's sick. Like, you looked at a thing that is so gross and so creepy and so weird and possibly illegal, which is why it's most likely fake. And you were like, but I wish it was real. I imagine it's real. And I love that year ago. And it seems like he's just gotten worse. Hasn't learned any of his, any lessons from this. Also the stuff that this guy says in his videos is objectionable. Like, obviously I didn't go to the extreme of like insulting his appearance. I don't think first thing I noticed is this is complete cap. <laughs> first of all, 1016, that doesn't even have a year. The comment is repeated here. All the information is repeated. So yeah, everything's fake. <laughs> Cause that's what I'm saying. Why would you- This guy is like, I did a thing. If I did a thing was doing illegal things. What, using his powers to pick up women? Is that what it is? No, 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 he's not. He ain't picking up shit, okay? No, he like stalks people. He claims he like hacks into security cameras and stuff. And he's also built an AI that rizzes up women. That's insane. That's it. Like the crazy. AI scrapes their data off of the the dating app and then like rizzes them up and like writes prompts. I feel like if you get picked up by AI, I would be insulted. I'd be like, "Am I really that simple that someone yeah. could just create this program that reads me like that?" Yeah, I oh, I did a crime. Is what you he's build doing. Something when you could just say you built it and fake it on TikTok for clout, you get the same result. If you take a good photo of your friend out and about, do not give it to them for free. Instead, treat it like a playing card. So I got this yeah, do not give it to them for free. Ask them $5 so you can avoid the top of the hour ad breaks at the Haas and Ivy broadcast. Easy, because at the top of the hour, there's a three minute ad break. If you no longer wanna see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. Down, 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 Kaya, down, 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 she's down, 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 they off and not down. Down is for lay down, bro. Oh, true. Fire footy last night. This is fire. 
What do you got for me? All right, I'll offer you this one, that one, and this one. He didn't mean treat it like a playing card. He he meant treat it like a like a like a collectible card, like a Pokemon card or something. <laughs> because playing cards you just play with. <laughs> you don't trade playing cards. Um, Three different occasions, and you're gonna be that one photo. No, this is this, 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 this will psychologically force them to take great photos of you so that they have something to trade with. Psychologically force them. You also, you know his ass put that up there because there's one, one with like a lady is, sitting on his lap. Yeah. You know this, time this will psychologically playing cards. Uh, Three different occasions, and you're gonna be that one photo. Not cards you just yeah. play with, like a collect. This one. He did. What do you got for me? All right, I'll offer you this one. Damn, sick photo, bro. This is literally like the meme of they don't know I have an app that yep. scrapes your information at the party photo, like the <laughs> meme. You know what I mean? That one, and then they he one hundred percent showed this because he wanted to show like a woman yeah, sitting on his a lap. Woman has touched him before. Yeah, he's like, I'm fuck, I'm the Rizzler, dude. I I locked that ass up with AI. Why would you take that photo though? We, did you ask that lady to pose on you? And Probably not. One, he did. And that's him talking to a woman, <laughs> dude. That's awesome. He literally was like, oh, this one, this one's fire, dude. It's you Man, talking to a woman. Who the one. fuck takes a photo <laughs> like this? Wait, dude. hold that conversation. Dude, I fucking, I can't believe it. My boy's talking to a lady, dude. Gotta fucking snap it real quick. You know why? Because he's using his photos that he takes of other people, the candidates, like a trading card. That's why. Oh, good idea. He didn't mean Smart. treat it like a playing card. He... He meant treat it like a like a like a collectible card, like a Pokemon card or something. Because playing cards you just play with. <laughs> you don't trade playing cards. Um, Three different occasions, and you're gonna be that one photo. No, this is this, this, is, this, this will psychologically force them to take great photos of you. So I love psychologically forcing my friends. Yeah. Here's another thing. Uh, I don't know. Having a normal friendship and then asking them to take photos of you, or like candids even, even though none of those were candids. Let's be real. Uh, when you go somewhere, that yeah. could be. You know, I take I take photos of my friends. You know what I've done? I've just made it so all my friends are photographers. Only selected photographers as friends. Yeah. Then they, it just happens. Yeah, to we happen, don't even you know? we don't even hang out off camera. Like no, he's like no. your photo. I've I've taken some photos. I've taken some photos of Alex, and he was like, "This is nor nor. This is not good. It's not up to yeah. not up to par." I had a guy like this messing with my girlfriend once years ago and I found him and I would leave incriminating information on his work desk voicemail on random days in the middle of the night and he would have to get to work early to delete them. I did it for months and then still told his mom what he was up to. Jesus Christ. I think you went too far there. No, no, it was good. It's valid. <laughs> I talked to my girlfriend, so I went to his work if, and I left a shit on his desk. It's fucking... If if M Hud is okay. has done it, it's it's valid. What do I tell her? Down? Not down. down. Off. 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 Good girl. Off, Kaya. Don't even think about it. That they have something to trade with. Psychologically force them? I don't think so. I think they would just stop hanging out with you. <laughs> I just, it seems like a little, like a lot of effort. This is fun, but over time, the whole friend group will have great photos of them candidly. I don't think that's what would happen. <laughs> Those photos did not look candid either. No. Let's go analyze. I'm sorry. Oh, what yeah. is this? <laughs> what is happening here? Is this Off. a candid photo? Off. We're just chilling in the back of the car and... You know, homegirl oh. was sitting on my lap. Can't believe you caught a picture of that. Oh. It was such a candid moment. No. <laughs> it's all gotta be bait. It's, this oh. all feels engineered to make me mad. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's like headbutting my punch. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to fucking beat her ass once this stream <laughs> is over. She's about to, she's about to learn. Will psychologically force them to take great photos of you. Your friends would talk about you behind your back and they would stop hanging out with you. They'd be like, dude, why does Jacob keep trying to trade us photos of him? Why, why isn't he just normal and tag us like the rest of our friends? Uh, one of my videos went viral. There's 55,000 people watching on my live stream right oh, now. What's up, everybody? No no way. I've never had this many people in here. So he made an app that fakes the live, that fakes it. Oh, yeah. Live stream Not a bad idea. Like, you no, it's the saddest thing ever. God damn it, engineer brain. Listen, it's literally the saddest fucking thing on the planet. And he tries to use that to get in to clubs. Really? Yeah, he'll be like, oh, what's up? I'm live right now. Look, there's hundreds of thousands of people watching me right now. I bet you want me inside that club right now. You know what I mean? I Meanwhile, like, we actually do fucking live streams. 
And I know for a motherfucking fact, most clothes would be like, fuck no, you can't yeah. film in here. I don't give a fuck how many people are watching you, you sad, pathetic little man. Put the camera down. <laughs> also, Shit, streaming in public is always awkward. Yeah, it's it's, so, gonna be, it's not going to be a good place. It's literally not. It's not a good thing at all. You're, you're doing it out of like, I do it out of, uh, out of a sense of like obligation, a duty, mm. a sense of duty. I feel like I have to show what I'm doing to the people. He like made videos about that years ago. So that's what he's doing here. So it's a prank, but let's see what the prank is. Nice. Oh, thank you for the $60 donation. Can you please back your clown face from the screen before the heat melts all that makeup off you? <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, so now cool. he's just nagging her. Nice, man. That was a fake. Whenever my friend gets lazy and doesn't want to go to the gym with me, it's because his life is too good. And it's my responsibility as a great friend to create trauma to motivate him to get back into the gym. I oh, do no. this by hiring an Instagram model to comment and like it. So the premise of this, it feels like a I feel like a lot of these sketch, are just right? fake. So yeah. like, what's the harm yeah. in it in like it a, is a goofy sketch? Till he slides into her DM. This will make it feel more organic and they'll naturally begin going on dates. I'll then instruct the model to make subtle comments about his body. She'll yeah, then become totally more fake. distant fake. and not respond. Yeah, it's 100% not real, but also, it's like, if you're going to fake content, why don't you fake content that's, like, funnier or more yeah. creative? This is just, like, I'm a bad person. Yeah, it's just making you look bad. Yeah, that's he's it. like, I love I love being a sociopath. <laughs> what happened? Why did you leave? Huh? I thought you were leaving, by the way. Yeah, but then I'm waiting for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, she You said you were leaving soon. And I'll oh, like, all right. Well, all, after this video is over, I, I thought frequently. you were, like... Right, so, like, the psychological no, 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 manipulation Michael was like, yeah, tell her son to come. It's kind so, of, like, his uh, thing. <laughs> like, it seems like that's, like, all he wants to do. He loves catfishing. He loves manipulating people, but not, like, in real life, like, in, in scripted scenarios where he can come off, like, a freaking chad dude what a menace but even like maybe he's attempting comedy like this is so mean like i'm not i'm not actually trying to be like uh i'm not trying to roast him i'm genuinely saying like maybe it's all supposed to be comedy and it's like some high high concept character but like the vibes are off with ethan right like the vibes are just off how to test your partner to see if they're cheating. Buy a used water bottle from Goodwill that could theoretically belong to anyone. Pretend to discover it in their car. Here's your water bottle. Use this exact phrasing. This only works if they think you think it's theirs. If they have nothing to hide. I it's like, I've seen this guy and this guy's funny. So the language of comedy is present in this and I just don't know if I just don't know if Ethan's like funny. That's not mine. I don't know whose that is. They'll admit they don't know whose it is because you've made them feel like you trust them. But if they are cheating, thank you so much. They'll go along with you. <laughs> yeah, that's actually funny. That's yeah. like that. Wow. There you go. Like, that's the type of that's the type of content that like obviously this chat would look at and go, oh, that guy's unhinged and fucked up. But mm. like the other guy actually is unhinged and fucked up. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, if it's real, he's fucked up. If it's fake, he's fucked up. Yeah, exactly. There's no winning. He's just through. like, he, there's no punchline. The punchline no. is, I'm a fucking sociopath. <laughs> Which is kind of funny if you think about it. That I guess, yeah. He's willing to do that. Yeah, if you're himself. laughing, yeah, you're laughing at him at that point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, this guy's so funny. So maybe that is what he's going for. I'm going to turn on like a comedy mode as I'm watching these videos and see if they're meant to be comedic. And it's fine if I don't get the joke. That's cool. It's okay. It's not for everybody, but I'll report my findings. I slid into the DMs of 50 random girls to see how many responses I could get. 36 didn't respond, 14 responded, and only four were interested. I then reached out to 50 random new girls using AI by screenshotting their Instagram account and uploading it to the Riz app. He has to have made this app. In no universe does he talk about the Riz app, so God No, thank you for the 20 the AI subs. was able to look at the images and contextualize the oh, outreach. God. Looking at the oh. screenshot, the AI noticed that oh. she's into the beach girl. and came up with a message. You <laughs> using top of the line AI, looking at 9,000 photos of her at the beach, the AI was able to compute using complex calculus in large language models. Okay, Betelgeuse says Zuckerberg already did this, low key. You're not uh, wrong. That is how Facebook started. Yeah, yeah. And then it ended with uh, uh, Rohingya genocide. So <laughs> like this guy might be the next Zuckerberg. Yeah. What kind of genocides will he create with his social media uh, application? Hopefully just genocide in Rohingya again. Yeah, yeah. You, lightning doesn't strike twice, though. Yeah, no, you're right. So it's not... <laughs> you, you meant that as in, like, not that it was a good thing, but because, like, it's already happened. Yeah, So it can't it. happen again. Yep. That's what you mean. Yep. He's not pro... 
I'm not. The genocide of, of Muslims in Myanmar. No. no. Models. That she likes the beach. <laughs> All right, how does the AI slide? You seem like you like going to the beach a lot. Certainly know how to heat up a cold, lonely beach day. That's not. Bruh. That never gets a reply. That's a block. <laughs> that's like, <laughs> that's like when you look at your friend's close friend stories and they're like, this weirdo keeps messaging me nonsense and I can't get him to stop. <gasps> That that is an instant block. What are you talking about? You certainly know how to heat up a cold, lonely beach day. And then she said, "How did you know? How did you know about my unique skill of heating up?" Yeah, this is so fake. No woman would ever respond like that to a fucking random cold open. That sounds so much like a bot. A cold, but also, he beach doesn't day. understand women yeah, at all. That he thought that, that, that maybe that was a real response. Yo, he got that Mad Lib Riz. He just fills in the blanks with whatever. No, I think he's faking it. And I did check. She does follow Ethan on instagram so oh. I, to me it just seems like it's a hey you want to co like collab can we do a cool collab can't but spill you hit on me oh no can't spill all my secrets that easily cutie what this has got to be bait <laughs> this is oh man. yeah she's using one of those like uh snapchat ais that these uh some of the only fans content creators have now so it's like two AIs rizzing each other up. Uh, yeah, that's probably. the one where it just responds to people, yeah. so you don't have to respond to yeah, thousands yeah, yeah. of messages. Inbound requests that like you can turn into conversions for your OnlyFans. Like that's what's going on. It's, you should get one of those. It's hot bot on bot action. I don't want that at all. <laughs> I don't want. I don't talk to anybody on Instagram. Okay, and I don't want anyone to think I'm talking to them. <laughs> Mega blocked, dude. This is like it blocks your whole zip code when you block this fucking account. Is it a joke? Is it a funny joke? You're too smart for your own good. Wow. The future is now. This is dangerous. Like, I don't... <laughs> I don't think everybody's in on it. This is not passing the sniff test. This is not passing the vibe check. Everything feels off. Ew. What's your favorite ocean creature? No. <sighs> Okay, that one's not bad. It's bad, but it's just a bit no, like yeah, I would enjoy. Oh uh, yeah, I was about to I say would, you would, would love, love that. that. You would love that shit. You'd be like, oh my god, the oarfish. Have oh. you seen an oarfish? Yeah, you Crazy. fucking you, dude. Come on, you would get rizzed. Up. You'd fuck this guy. But if this just, guy came up to you and said, "What's your favorite ocean creature?" You're fucking him. Well, it depends on their response. <laughs> oh yeah, true. If they said something great, like the anglerfish. Or like a mantis shrimp. If they said the peacock mantis shrimp, I'd be like, well, I need to have sex with this person. What is a, what is a fish that they would tell you that you were like, oh, ew, like a salmon? Oh, I mean, sea salmon bass. is just kind of normal. That's what I mean, lame. like sea bass? Yeah. Goldfish? Uh, yeah, goldfish would be very bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm picking like all the basic yeah. bitch fish. Like Siamese fighting fish. That would be very bad. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like a, it's a no-no. Okay, no -no. got it. Yep. Yeah. I'm a coal... Colacanth kind of girl. What the oh, fuck is that? Celiacanth. It's like a fish they thought was extinct for like 10,000 years. He claims that he knows every fish on the planet. Well, I, if you show me a photo of a fish, I know what the fish is. We got. I got to test this. God <laughs> damn it. He's just... The, he he claims he know, but you like he has. Me. I have you tested him. Three, like, two I or have three tested fishes. him. I was correct. And like random ass fishes I've, I've asked him about. And he's like, boom, nails it like that. Cuttlefish are so dope. True. Cuttlefish are very they're cute. They're cute. They're like me. They're they're very kawaii. What if your favorite's dolphin? Nah, that's a red flag. Arapaima is a good one to have as well. Respectable choice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, hey, let's girl. keep going. You certainly know how to warm up a cold, lonely beach day. What's your favorite ocean creature, cutie? <laughs> Mine would have oh to my be God. dolphins. Dolphin emoji oh, no. heart. <laughs> Looks like I have to take. It's gonna be fucking American fish, isn't it? It's gonna be freshwater American fish. Yeah, let's okay, go. That's a rainbow trout. Okay. Oh fuck. Yeah. It's not an alligator gar. Don't think it's a walleye. I'm gonna say black crappy. Oh, it's a walleye. It's an American fish. It's the Come largest on. member of the pooch family and is known for a big glassy eye. I'm done already. Give me another. He's grabbing it, dude. Oh, so that's not a rainbow trout. I think it's a steelhead trout. Oh, yeah, let's go steelhead trout. It's a cutthroat trout, mate. 
Oh, give me saltwater fish. I it gives you a variety no. of colours. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. oh, that's a that's a white sturgeon. Yeah, even that's I know that yeah. one. That's like yeah. the caviar, right? Yeah, right. It's caviar fish, right? This is fucking freshwater fish. That's not fair. These are American freshwater fish. Oh, it's a type fish. of bass. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say... Can you mouth. identify these Australian fish? Oh, All right, every fuck single it. One. Every single easy. one. 100p. This is That is a giant black marlin. Yeah. That is a Murray cod. Don't even need the things. That is a Australian bass. Damn. That, oh, oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Golden perch? Uh-oh. Oh, Hey. Oh, you oh. fucked up. Oh, okay. That's a GT judge, Rally. The GT. GT. That is a kind of catfish, so we'll go eel-tailed catfish. Popular food item. It's a mackerel, mate. Oh, fuck. It's a mackerel. Let's go mackerel. Very good. Come on, <laughs> dude. I'm helping you. That's a garfish. Oh, what? There's no garfish. Oh, no. There's no we'll garfish. Go a, we'll go a half beak. Half beak. Okay, you got that one. Barely. Shiny that sounding looks like fish. like a golden perch. Yeah. All right, correct answer. That's a saw tail. Large two sawfish. I mean, it has a saw. That a was an easy one. Easy. That's an easy one. Not a seamount. Let's go... It's threatened. It's either a Saratoga or a Macquarie perch. I no no. I said either. Okay, I, I said either. Okay, well I picked the first one you picked. Oh, uh, that's a Queensland lungfish. All right. I have no idea. It's not. Well, no. let's go process the original. It's not a barramundi. This bright Gun, little fish is Gungian. often kept in home. Which one is? Oh, this yeah. one. Damn it! It's a rainbow fish. <sighs> Look, it's got the rainbow colors, mate. Should have known, dude. You're fucking up. I'm fucking up. Small scale fish is this unique to sucks. Australia. Small scale fish, unique to Australia. Let's go salamander fish. Fuck. It's black. It's a river black fish, dude. This fish was imported brown, to Australia from brown England. Trout. Brown trout. Yes, thank you. Small fish can be found all over oh, northern and central Australia. That is a carp gudgeon. We already Bony brim. We already Fuck. fucking did the carp gudgeon. That's a red emperor. Okay. Also known as a jade perch. It's not a kingfish. It's, it has to be a Baku grunter. Oh, thank God. I, you were oh, about to embarrass me. Oh, I love this me. one. This is a giant groper. Wow. He's like, I have to say, because this quiz is literally his playground. I'm not very impressed. Come on. I oh, said I'm good at saltwater no. fish. Come on. Giant grouper. Hit it. Make him take this Hit one. It. it displays his knowledge better. Saltwater fish. I mean, but this doesn't show whiting. fish. That's whiting. Which one is not a variety of fish? Abalone. What is an abalone? It's like a big shell. Oh, Barramundi, a, a native fish to Australia and Papua New, uh, Papua New Guinea, is a close relative to which African fish? Egyptian cod. This is hard, though. This doesn't have pictures. This isn't, even, isn't as fun. Current world record for a brew marlin caught on 10 kilogram line is which of the following? 187 kilos. Wait, really? I think so. Caught primarily off piers and jetties. What is the common name of hyperhamphus? <laughs> Did I say right? Yeah, well, I don't. It comes in varieties of river sea, pointy nose, and snub nosed. This is hard. Garfish. All right. Let's, oh, nah, fucking hell, mate. Right. All right. Let's see, giant grouper. Let's just finish this one and then we'll see how good I am at fish. Okay. These little fish look like they have feet. What are they? got to be salamander fish come on context clues salamander fish yeah yeah i mean yeah. come on dude i'm fucking That's helping a you fin tuna. i'm helping you, you dude are. uh yeah. these long fish start Short life as transparent eel. larvae in the ocean before hitting the fresh water as they mature what Short are they eel. and that's a mangrove jack before it no 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 that one i said that uh, that's mangrove jack. okay that's okay so okay that one doesn't i'll give you that one that's a mangrove jack Okay, sorry. You're taking points away from okay, me. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll give you bull, one point. We'll give you one. route. I got stung by one of those. That's this a, is insanely that's long. That's a Saratoga. Quick. Saratoga. All right, all right, all right. 
This lazy sanding fish is one of the most popular fish for eating in Australia. Okay, it's the most popular. Come it's on. It's not the most popular. I've never eaten this fish. Oh, Let's come go on, mate. Sl- j- sleepy cod. Yes. Oh, you fucking. That looks like a snapper, pink snapper. I mean, it's pink. Yep. That looks like. You're legally re- required to return it safely to water. What the what? fuck? Ship might be the river cod then. Bloomfield river cod. Uh, Between two waterfalls. This fish is also called a mosquito fish. What is it? I think it's Gambusia. This sport fish is often very hard to find in the wild. What is it? Get jungle perch. Give it to me. Yes. Okay, I'm on a roll now. Leopard like pattern. Brown trout or is it two two spined blackfish? I don't know. Come on. Don't know. Let's go brown trout. Ah. This popular tasty fish mostly feeds on sea algae mullet. and detritus. Sea mullet. Oh. Yeah. A sea mullet. That's sea a mullet. gross name. This fish is sometimes called an elbow slapper. Starry trigger fish? No. Yes. Ah. That is not what a King George Whiting looks like. That's just wrong. They look completely different. All right, mate. That's what the fucking quiz said, yeah? Fuck. These small fish work really well in aquariums. What are they? Uh, short. Headed lamp. No, it's not a lamprey. Spotted flag tail. Fuck. <clears throat> Next one's a king Carp fish. Carp gudgeon. Yellow kingfish. Best fish in the ocean. <laughs> really? Yeah. I don't startle easily. The fact that diver makes some kind of noise has been known to inspire a kingfish to come closer. They swim right up to you. It's awesome. Nice. The skin of this ocean fish is sometimes turned into leather. I think it's a starry trigger fish. Are you sure yes. about that? Yes. Fucking hell. This That's eel like a fish. That's a lamprey. Yeah. Short headed lamprey. The hound fish. Well, I think it's a flat needle. I was going to say, I think it's a flat needle yeah, fish. It looks like a gar fish. Yep. Uh, this fish gets its name from the Aboriginal word that means large scale silverfish. What is it? Not a John Dory. It's not a barramundi. I think it's a spotted flag tail. You think so? Yeah. Or a sleepy cod. I'm going to go with barramundi. It's definitely not a barramundi. All right. It? Fucking hell. See, that is not a picture of a barramundi. That is not a picture of a barramundi. Chat's going crazy now. Don't don't come after me. That I'm is the real. worst picture think, of a barramundi. Here, I'm going to show you a picture are, of a barramundi. I think we are literally... Google barramundi. I'm not going to lie. You're like, this is an ugly barramundi. It looks completely different. Not necessarily, my friend. Look, at, Click click that photo. Oh, that's you want to find... You that's wanna find what a barramundi looks like. You want to find one where it's like less looking I like that? I love barramundis. Yeah, not not enough. That's bottom from afar, mate. That's not a barramundi. I'm calling it out. It does look different. Thank you. <laughs> I think this. I think you need to you need to let the goat let off the let the goat call out the fish going forward. You know what I mean? How many fish? Oh, is this fish is known as a sweet William. What is it? It's a gummy shark. All right. How many did I get right? You got thirty out of forty. You got thirty-one out of forty. That's still pretty good. But the barramundi, that was, you set me up on that. Okay, 32 out of 40, that's not good. That's not good. It's still pretty good. I'd say no or, fish or no horror. Two plus two, you fucked them earlier. Okay, 32. There we go. Yeah, actually, you fucked me twice. I and think then it was the- a female barramundi. That's why the head looked weird. Oh, uh, maybe I should have. Just saying, I can't dude. believe you, te- no one's ever tested me. Whenever I say I'm a fish guy, everyone's like, oh, yep. Yeah, Sick. Well- I'm a fucking freak. Love you gotta, testing people. You got to be minus. That's not good. No, it's not no, good. I'm not, I'm not impressed with that. Yeah, you said you were an expert, dude. I thought you were going to fucking nail it 100p. But I was as well. I'm genuinely upset with myself as well. <laughs> you need to get back to the drawing board. <laughs> I fucking hate this. <laughs> you need to get back. You need to get back to the drawing board I need and to learn. Study more. Yeah. Show them noodling videos. You know what noodling is. I know what noodling is. is. Yeah, yeah, there's like no way that. a fish guy doesn't yeah. know what fucking noodling is when I know what noodling is. It's where you use your dick as bait, right? You dip it and you yeah. teabag the water until someone th- something yeah. comes and bites it. Scaled silverfish. What is it? Not a John Dory. 
It's not a barramundi. I think it's a spotted flag tail. You think so? Yeah. Or a sleepy cod. I'm going to go with barramundi. It's it. definitely not a barramundi. All right. It? Fucking hell. See, that is not a picture of a barramundi. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a picture of a barramundi. Chat. <laughs> Yo, so genuinely you? annoyed. Yo, who's the fucking fish it. goat, mate? Who's the fucking fish goat? I feel like this is the most embarrassing clip of me on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a barramundi. I need some Australians in here or people that know barramundis to tell me that's not a barramundi. Don't worry, Alex. You're still a fish guy. You know more than the average person. Thank no, you. no, no. Not a barramundi. I think it's just a low angle so you can't see the head shape. That's what the thing that threw it away. Also, the tail shape's different. It's all dumb. I hate that. Uh, I don't know, man. I should go. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think you want a dolphin date. Let's go. <laughs> no. Dude, that's exactly what dating is like. Let me tell you. In fact, just drop a couple of these lines in a Lucky Lady's DMs and you'll be going on dolphin dates in no time. Noticed that she was into dolphins and came up with a first date as a dolphin date. This is really powerful stuff. Okay. That's got to be parody, right? And came up with a first date as a dolphin date. Suggested a date. As a dolphin date. I'm really trying to give this guy the benefit of the doubt. And I've already made a video about him. I still feel like I need to give him the benefit of the doubt, but I just don't get it. I just don't get it. AI did nearly 75% better than me. And the AI that I use <laughs> is called- Oh no. Dude, that's so sad. Yeah, that's just a self- Dude, that's fun. just, you just showed, yeah, you just showed the world how bad you are <laughs> in comparison to your even worse AI. It is, you can try it out for yourself. It's in the app store and Google Play. Check it out. Okay, so he had to make this app. He had to make this app. Come on, you download the that app. app is now. bad. Jealous. He talks about it so highly to the point of like faking success. Also, there's no way a dolphin date is good because like, you know, it's like, like, as much as dolphins are majestic creatures and shit, I feel like they're one of those, like, very smart animals that mm. you can only see in captivity. Unless you, like, literally mean you're going to go out to the yeah. water. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and, and Yeah, then, so let's watch a dolphin get tortured by sea waves. Yeah, the it's not great. No. Yeah. Like, same with fucking orcas and shit. You know what I mean? They're awesome. They're sick. But, I mean, unless you're, like, actually going out to see it in the wild, which there's no given that you will actually see them. Mm. Uh, when you do that, it's not going to happen. Don't dolphins rape too? Yeah, they do, but they're not going to fucking, you know. And then does the app sell stuff? So wait, that would be the end goal. Like if there's microtransactions in the app, then, then it's just a grift, right? Then, then he's just like false advertising to get people, get people's cash. All right, we found it. He, he definitely offers in-app purchases. And it's got the rare distribution of tons of five stars and then one stars. The one star reviews of the Riz app. You get five free auto-generated Rizzes a week, and then you've got to pay for these terrible lines. So there we go. I recently gave the Riz app a try, hoping to find some entertaining and clever pickup <laughs> lines to lighten the mood and spark. Who writes, okay, who writes this well thought out review? On the fucking Riz app, dude. Yeah. This guy's like, I am the Better Business Bureau, okay? I want to warn other consumers <laughs> to never use this application. Interesting conversation. Okay, to be fair, I, I know exactly who would need a Riz app and who would... Yep. It's the exact same type of person who would write this it, very serious and critical <laughs> review. Yeah, it correlates. However, my experience with the app left me utterly unimpressed and cringing at the sheer corniness of the pickup lines it offered. This app is nothing more than a cornball's paradise. <laughs> this is such a well-written roast of this app. Wow. Everything I'm going to see if this app dude. actually exists. Like, the it's texts are cool. fake. The AI is fake. Like, it's all a ruse, and I don't understand why he's chosen to build this brand for himself. It's so odd, 50,000 so downloads. Odd. People are mad at me no, for this viral he, video and how I did 49,000 people in URC at the same time. Actually, I built an artificial intelligence that swipe right and matched with over 5,000 people and would use movie quotes from James Bond and American Psycho oh, to man. talk to girls. So this is the video That's that I dude. think first saw that I like when I was like, oh, I'm going to make a video about this guy last year. So he's catching us up. And some of them really liked the AI thinking it was me and give, gave me their number. It worked for any conversation. Yeah, what oh! happened? No, you didn't, you liar. You didn't do that. You didn't make it into an AI. We read the reviews. Oh, so that's how he's connected. He's like, he's like trying to, oh, 
that's his game. He's like, everybody got mad at me. Remember my viral video? Anyway, download my new app. So he did make it. You should just screenshot any conversation, put it in my app, and it will generate a response for you that you can then copy and paste. It's in my bio, check it out for yourself. But why would you want to date someone? That's the whole point of talking to someone is to get to know what they're like. Sure. Why are you making AI to do that for you? Time. Don't date anyone. He's hustling in his own way for his- In, in a way, it's like, ain't nobody's gonna fucking fall for this anyway. So Sorry. you're just basically permanently an incel if you use this. You're just, it, it, it's like self-selecting. Yeah. And pushing people away from having any shot at ever hooking up with a woman. This app, or so I thought. Hello, it's editing, editing Jarvis. When I filmed this video, I was under the impression that Ethan created the Riz app because that's what he said. But it's come to my attention that that is not true. The Riz app was created by three New York entrepreneurs named Roman, Josh, and Zach. And it's become really popular. They've been written up in a lot of publications. And I have no idea why Ethan is saying he made the app. This particular TikTok <laughs> does have a paid promotion tag on it, but I never saw that paid partnership label because I watched this on YouTube Shorts where it doesn't exist. So I don't know what's going on here. It seems a little fishy but I didn't have time to get to the bottom of it before putting this video out. So I'll update you if things get even more juicy. Occam's Razor tells me that they just paid this popular TikToker for- They were like, who's the grossest TikToker we can find? Oh, the fucking stalker guy. <laughs> He's he's the one who's silly enough to fucking promote this application. But it, it does make sense, though, because if you think who actually watches him, it's not women. It's men that are very desperate. Yeah. So that's who Riz is looking for. Yeah, so they're like, oh, we need the des des desperate incels, you know? Yeah. Who are permanently going to be incels in after this a app. relevant niche to them. And uh, damn, dude, people are still thinking about that Alex Baramundi clip. <laughs> Stop reminding me. It's such a good clip. It's just not a Barramundi. That's the thing. It's just it doesn't so matter. funny. And people on the internet are going to see me and they're going to laugh because they're going to be like, oh, that is a Barramundi. That's not a Barramundi. No, it's definitely it's a It's not a Barramundi. It's, it's not a Barramundi. Dude, I'm, I, look, it's okay. You're not a visual expert. I am. So you just, you mistook. It's a, it's a classic I, amateur no, mistake. It's not. It's a classic amateur their mistake. Their head are different. Their tail are different. Their scales Yeah, no, it's because of the angle. You've never seen a barramundi from that angle. I have, so I immediately <laughs> knew it was a barramundi. When are you swimming underneath barramundi, Hassan? Dude, what do you mean? When are you doing that? Bondi Beach. Well, yep, yep. Okay, you got me there. Yeah, wait, is that- Freshwater it? Bondi Beach? They not no, no, that's saltwater and freshwater. Yeah, oh, see? Right. Oh, I got you again. You tried to trick me. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> they are in Queensland. Uh, not, no, but- <laughs> Didn't care that he was being dishonest in his advertisement. Uh, I certainly don't like it, and I'm allowed not to, because I'm my own man, and I'm not an AI, and you can't prove that I am. Why would you? I'm real. <laughs> All right, Hassan is a student of Sun Tzu, so he knows his enemies well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I do. I studied the Barramundi. I'm terrified <laughs> of it. Uh, anyway, guys, that was one. Uh, that was fun. That was wonderful. Uh, we're gonna go. And hang out with Michael Reeves a little bit. Yep. 